So in the last 24 hours, both Shane Dawson and James Charles have had their Twitter accounts hacked. And this is a big problem that we definitely need to talk about. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community or pop culture, try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick reminder, there's only one week left in the month of August and my brand new book, canceled is out now and you can get a free version of the ebook until the end of the month so real quick there was some confusion um on one of my trisha paytas videos i think it was the one yesterday i mentioned that there is also an audiobook available i think i worded it kind of funny so the audiobook is available but that is ten dollars there is an ebook that is free, all right? The audiobook, like I had to pay my editor, Zach, a bunch of money to edit that thing. So I apologize, but I cannot give the audiobook away for free, all right? But anyways, like I said, you have until the end of the month to get the ebook for free. And yeah, with this topic of Shane Dawson and James Charles getting hacked on Twitter, like both of these two have had cancel culture and internet hate mobs come after them. And we're gonna be talking a little bit about how that might affect them in the future, but, this is really important because like we live in the internet age and aside from cancel culture, like being hacked, this can happen to anybody. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about some ways that you can protect yourself because it's something that I definitely had to look into when people on the internet started coming after me and just, you know, putting myself out there, right? Because we all, you know, need to protect our privacy. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, Shane Dawson, was hacked yesterday morning and oh my god i felt so bad for him like he ended up getting it back uh the first thing i will say before i forget if you see one of your favorite youtubers get hacked on twitter or anybody on twitter um somebody posted this like report it and say this account has been hacked like with the massive audiences people like shane dawson and james charles have i think the best thing to do is flood twitter with notifications that their account has been hacked so it just stops because the people who are doing this it was actually the same people who hacked both shane dawson and james charles so anyways this happened yesterday morning to shane dawson i felt bad because like the dude edits like all night long and he's working on his new series with jeffree star so i'm pretty sure he's been up all night editing and he was probably asleep while this was happening but these guys hacked his twitter here's some screenshots i've edited a little bit some vulgar stuff some racist stuff and things like that but like First off, like, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen, but like, I really hope young people out there or just anybody out there looking to do something stupid really pays attention to this. Like, these guys are basically like, hey, here's where to find us, right? And I don't know how like internet forensics work, but I'm pretty sure it's a bad idea to like promote your other Twitter accounts and like your Discord server and everything like that. But anyways, um, Shane Dawson, to my knowledge, hasn't even addressed it yet. I know Jeffree Star said something on Snapchat, like, oh my God, like somebody hacked Shane. But anyways, like I felt super bad for Jane, Shane. This went on for maybe like an hour or two and then Shane got his account back and all those tweets, they got deleted. So today it happened to James Charles. The exact same group did this, all right? So this was much quicker. James Charles ended up getting his account back a lot quicker, all right? So that's good. Now, one of the major issues that we see, like with this group that's hacking people, I'm gonna talk about how it's happening too, as well as some ways to protect yourself. But anyways, this group, they, they said, you know, use this hashtag and tell us who you want us to hack next, right? And like, please don't engage with that. Do not promote this type of behavior. That's what keeps it going. The same thing with like doxing and swatting and all that kind of stuff, like, like man, like don't, don't promote that, don't engage with it, all right? Like just denounce it, don't give them the attention that they want. So much stuff is done just to get attention, especially when it comes to, you know, messing with other people, right? So anyways, like how's this happening? Um, Keemstar tweeted this out and I don't know the specifics of it. But anyways, like he says in this tweet, uh, it sounds like it has something to do with AT&T as a service provider, so, 
if you have AT&T, maybe like call them and see if there's something you could do to prevent it. Um, it sounds like they're calling and switching like SIM card information. And I don't even know how that's possible. Like with the, the, the service provider that I use, which I'm not gonna say which one it is, like I have to have like specific information to give them, right? Like there's some security questions and stuff, like even just to talk about my billing. So if you're an AT&T customer, beware. And, and if, if any of my YouTuber colleagues are out there watching this, like just know this has happened to two YouTubers already. And I know a lot of us aren't nearly as big as James Charles and Shane Dawson, but protect yourself, all right? So one thing that is interesting, not even interesting, but we need to look at is James Charles was starting to be held hostage and this is something that we saw happen to Whitney Cummings recently. It also happened to Bella Thorne where they got hacked and the hackers are trying to hold them hostage by saying like, oh, I have access to your nudes or whatever and I'm gonna leak, leak them unless you pay me money, right? So it was just like last week where the comedian Whitney Cummings had this happen and she ended up just exposing herself. She said, look, I'm not gonna be held you know, hostage by this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna release it myself. Um, Bella Thorne did the same thing. James Charles just did the same thing. And I don't know the specifics of that, but it sounds like the hacker said, hey, we have this, what are you gonna do to give it to us? So James released it himself. And I'll say this, like this is one of the most empowering things I think you could do in this crappy situation is just be like, yo, like you ain't gonna hold me hostage, and I think it's I think it's kind of cool for like body positivity and stuff like that. Like don't go plastering your nudes on Twitter or anything like that. But I'm glad some of these celebrities like James Charles, Whitney Cummings, um, Bello Thorne are basically saying like, yo, you're not gonna you know hold this as leverage over me, you know. But it just it just sucks, man, that you know people have to worry about that because then it turns into like this kind of like victim blaming thing and stuff like that and that's that's not cool like this ideology like oh just don't take them then you don't got to worry about it it's like well how about people just quit hacking other people and being d-bags you know what i mean like let's blame the perpetrators not the victims of this but the other thing i was thinking about which is pretty scary like so when when the internet came after me. It was one stupid DM that got leaked that was really trivial, right? And I'm thinking about how, you know, people like Shane Dawson and James Charles, like if they got hacked, their Twitter accounts got hacked, and I don't know how much access they had to their phones, but like how much information these hackers were able to get before then. Like I'm worried for them and what might come out or what might get leaked just just little DMs that you could send or text messages can be just twisted, taken out of context. Like we saw this happen with James Charles with this Tati Westbrook um, situation that happened, right? Like James Charles, they had this inside joke about I'm a celebrity and then Tati Westbrook kind of twisted that. So like if they had access to their DMs, like that could potentially become an issue. But like I said, both James Charles and Shane Dawson has had like the internet hate mob come after them for different things. And here's one of the reasons I feel bad for them. Like Shane Dawson, we've all seen it. He's had to explain things that he did in the past, like when he had more edgy humor and stuff like that, those things still come up. And now there are going to be screenshots out there of things that came from Shane's Twitter account when he got hacked. And now he's gonna have to explain that, right? Like, I just imagine, you know, two, three, four years from now, somebody pulling these hacked tweets from Shane Dawson and then trying to accuse him of being a racist. Like, it's messed up, all right? So, I made a video the other day that really hasn't gotten that many views, but like, here's one of the issues with just bad actors on the internet. Um, a journalist by the name of, uh, Taylor Lorenz, she she got doxxed, you know? And this is something that we have to worry about as creators. So like any creators watching this, like I highly recommend you talk with local law enforcement, see what you could do to prevent being swatted. That is much more dangerous and people have, you know, died, you know, in incidents like that. But also doxing, like do whatever you can to scrub the internet of your private information, like, 
there are some companies that do it and I'm not sure what the company's names are. I just kind of went through and did it myself, but it's something I had to worry about. Like once you have people who disagree with your opinions online or don't like who you are, like having your public information or your private information out there can be very dangerous. So the last thing I want to talk about is VPNs. So some of you have probably heard of VPNs and just by the way, no, this is not sponsored, but NordVPN or ExpressVPN, if you're watching this video and want to sponsor brother, you know where to find me, all right? <laughs> but VPNs are very helpful. Um, you've probably seen a lot of YouTubers be sponsored by VPNs like uh, NordVPN or ExpressVPN. I know Philip DeFranco has been sponsored by them. Um, Drew Gooden, he was just sponsored by like ExpressVPN, I think. Leon Lush. So basically what this does is it masks your IP address, all right? And I'm a little bit of a computer nerd, so bear with me if this gets a little too nerdy for you, but 2019, so I think a lot of people know this stuff. So if you have an internet connection, you have an IP address, all right? And that IP address can be traced back to your physical address. And this is an instance where I've seen many people get doxxed or people get swatted because they weren't protecting their IP address. So what a VPN does is it makes it look like you're in a different location. Like when I show my location, it could say that I'm in like Germany or something. You see what I mean? So that's where VPNs are helpful. Now, something that I heard, but I'm not sure because I'm not a hacker, I heard it's easier to find your IP address when you're doing live streams. All right, so like whenever I do a live stream, if I'm just doing like a Q&A or streaming video games or whatever, I make sure I turn on the VPN because it can be easier to hack you while you're live streaming. So if this is something that you're worried about, I highly suggest you check them out. And, and like support creators, like I said, a lot of creators have been sponsored by these companies, not me, but <laughs> some of the people I listed, go find theirs, use their code, and like try to just support creators. If they have a link, for a service that you're going to use, like use their link because it helps support them. So even if you can't like uh, do their Patreon or buy their merch or whatever, if it's something that you're already buying, use their link. It helps support the creators. Like um, when I built my website recently, I used Squarespace and I love Philip DeFranco. So I found one of his videos where he was sponsored by Squarespace and used it. But anyways, I hope this information helps some of you out there um, kind of protect yourself. And I hope YouTubers out there, you kind of think about this stuff. Again, if you have AT&T, like find out about this. Hopefully this is something that AT&T fixes. If there's anything I left out on how to kind of protect yourself and protect your online safety, like let's have a conversation down in the comments below because I'm sure there are many many things that I missed. But anyways, I hope the best for Shane Dawson and James Charles. I hope that they catch this chuckling gang or whatever they call their little squad of misfits. Um, I hope these guys get caught and it's made an example of. You know what I mean? But anyways, don't don't encourage this type of behavior. It's it's it ain't cool. All right. But anyways, like I said, my um, my new book canceled is out now. I dive into YouTube cancel culture, internet mob mentality, psychology behind it, and a bunch of different instances that have happened. So make sure that you go check it out and get a free copy until the end of the month. But the audio book is also available for ten bucks if you like to listen to books like I do. All right. That's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge huge thank you to everybody who supports me and this channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel in the other ways. So, like, if you buy my books and stuff like that, it helps support the channel. All right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.